Hey, Miss Jean. Hello. How are you doing? I'm all right. What part of your body are we going to be working on here? No, the back of my neck. Back of your neck. You've got a bump back there. How long have you had it? About three weeks. It just showed up three weeks ago. Well, it flared up about three weeks ago. So you had something there before that? Yeah. I think you did too. I think if you had like a little cyst or something and then it got angry and infected. Right. And you came in and you saw somebody else and then they called me over to check it out for you, right? That's it. And I said, uh-oh, we have an infection because you had a big red streak on this, kind of right off in this area here, mm -hmm. right? And we put you on some antibiotics. She gave you a little shot too, didn't she? No, no shot. Well, I'll just... That's, not acceptable. Mm -hmm. should have a shot. A little uh, baby line there, please, ma'am. So we got the Gumby Jean helping out today. Hi, guys. All right. <laughs> and we got Mr. Jean in here with us. <laughs> and you're okay if we video you for all our friends on YouTube or wherever? That's fine. Oh, you're very nice. Thank you so much. Have you ever had anything like this before? It, it did pop up about a year ago. In the same spot? Yes. Did it just drain on its own, or did you squeeze it, or mm, what happened? No, um, I was given antibiotics, mm -hmm. and it, it shrunk. And From a different doctor's office. Yeah, I wasn't here. That's okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a little numbing medicine in here. This should be the worst part of it all, though. Okay, okay. you ready? Okay. Gummy Jesus is going to spray some cold spray, and then you're going to get a little stick sting and a burn. Here we go. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Have you had your lunch yet? No. Me either. <laughs> I don't eat on Mondays, though. Do I, Gumby Jean? No. no. Mondays and Thursdays. Mondays and Thursdays, I don't eat. So I'm standing up, just kind of leaning over here. I might be sitting on the table with you here in a minute. <laughs> Depending on how this all, uh, how this goes. So we think you have an epidermoid cyst that was secondarily infected. And we think there's going to be some fluid in here that's probably going to need to come out. But our goal is to open this up and remove the entire contents of the cyst along with the sac. Okay? okay. All right. And if we uh, achieve our goal, then this won't come back in the future like it did, you know, from before. So before you were just given some antibiotics, they thought maybe it was just an infection. They didn't think it was maybe a cyst. That'd be my guess. No, I guess. Yeah, they didn't do any follow-up or Nothing any like other that, instructions. Huh? Hmm. Well can't answer for that, but I can say it was pretty obvious when I looked at it that it was a cyst and that it was also infected, so. Okay. There we go. Got a little spot there, a little punctum where it wants to already start draining a little bit. Now we're going to go just a little bit deeper with this injection. Here we go. A little deeper. We want to try to get underneath a little bit without having this spew. And the reason I'm doing this is because when we get down inside the cyst and below it, you're going to have some areas in there that could get tender, and we don't want you to feel any pain, okay? Mm -hmm. No pain is good, right? Right. You like that? Okay. So we're using 1% with epinephrine, Gummy Jean? Yes. Our regular mix here. A little bit more over here. Okay. Let's hold on to another CC there, just in case we need it. Do you need a culture or no? No, we're not infected right now. So we're going to make a little incision with a 15 blade right across here, right in the neckline. Okay. So that we can sort of go with the uh, crease in the neck. And the reason we do that is so that there'll be less of a, less of a scar. I'm going to set that scalpel down, and we're just going to give it a little bit of a squeeze here and see if we can get out. Yeah, so we've got combination, just fluid along with some, we'll call them little chunks, of the uh, older material that was in there probably from a year ago. Kind of coming out. You feeling any pain? No. Good. Sometimes they come out real pretty and like little pearls, and sometimes they don't. Like this one, which has been around for a little while.
And if they've been here longer, we get more scar tissue. And if we have more scar tissue, we have to work harder to get them out. And I do the cross over here with my hands. So that's just a little piece of the sack right there. And fortunately, I can get a pretty good view. I can look in there and I can see what we have. Okay, so I think we have all the little pieces of sack removed and we're going to do a little flush here. Let that bubble out. Can you get one of those for me? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> all right, and uh, Let's go with a 5-0 ethylon or a 5-0 nylon, whichever you have over there is fine. How you feeling? Fine. Feeling fine? I told you the worst part was the bee sting up front. Mm -hmm. You gonna cut for me? Yes. Okay. So we definitely debulked everything and then we scraped out and snipped out the, the sack and mm -hmm. hopefully you're not gonna see any more of this in the future. used to go visit a, a half uncle that lived in um, Evangeline. And uh, he introduced me when I was a kid uh, to alligator gar. He brought me through that. And, uh, and, I, and I, I know what an alligator gar looks like. And I said, mm -hmm. I don't know about this uncle. They're ugly. Yeah. And I said, no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Is it, you, oh, for, you tasted it? You ate it? Oh, yeah. It was good. I liked it because it almost gives you like a texture of chicken and fish. Yeah, together. yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not like a, it's not flaky. Right. It's, not... it's chewy, huh? That's one of my favorite uh, fish, the garfish. Well. And the bones are bigger. So you don't yeah, have to yeah, the bones are bigger, yeah. And he did it on a pit like you were, like were fixing chicken or something. Right. Yeah. And, uh, there we go. Little wet, uh, wet gauze. Thank you. We'll give you the needle back. But we enjoy doing it. We like doing it. You see, you see the the one where the guy's a good-looking guy and his girlfriend uses a razor blade on his face and, and cut it. Just she had to be, a, you know, yeah, she had to have been a nurse or something. Um, she knew what she was doing. She used a razor, a razor blade, blade, made a perfect Lent cut, it. and I mean, just she sutured it, it and everything. No, it didn't show the suture. Okay. Something tell me he got, he's got a butterfly band while he got a <laughs> Okay. Well, there we go, Gumby Jean. I'm going to leave that to you to put a little dressing on. Miss Jean, everything went perfectly. Great. I appreciate you letting us video for all our friends. And um, you can take those stitches out if you want in about a week, or you can come back and we'll do it for you, okay? Okay. All right. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you. Hey, folks. You spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta 7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it can actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta 7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. I just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description. Are your nails and skin looking dry from the summer heat? Does your hair seem brittle and unhealthy? Well, maybe it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. Coco Skin Plus is a custom blend designed specifically by Dr. Gilmore to restore your hair's shine, protect your skin from the elements, and make your nails strong and healthy. Let's hear from a few of Dr. G's fans. 
I started taking Cocosin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. I don't know if you want to zoom in. My nails have definitely gotten stronger, and finally my hair is actually looking normal. Thanks to this, actually. Now available on Amazon with a dramatic price cut, Coco Skin Plus is only 50 cents a day. So stop waiting, order now, and experience the results you've always wanted. There's an Amazon link in the description.